Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now it's your pal Oz here today and we've got an exciting day because we've got uh, quite a few things to cover. For one, uh, maybe the biggest thing, uh, nah, not the biggest thing, but one thing we're going to be doing is opening up the uh, Series 1 7 pack of the DreamWorks Ushis, as well as a Series 3 4 pack of the DC Comics Ushis, and I've got big, big news for you about upcoming brands which are going to be, um, not brands, ranges, series themes, I don't know what the word is, but uh, new types of Ushis they're making. So for instance, this is DreamWorks Ushis and this is uh, DC Comics Ushis, but I can tell you that in the future there'll be, I, I can tell you at least five new, four, four or five new ranges of Ushis coming out soon, um, but I'll tell you at the end of the video, I'll make you wait, I'll build up some suspense for you. But, um, and another thing we'll do is just to, I don't know, I've been wondering this myself, is uh, what is inside Ushi? So we will cut open this guy. Uh, what is uh, it's Green Arrow here? <laughs> we'll cut him open uh, to see how easy he is to cut because they look pretty indestructible. These guys. The paint outside can kind of rub off pretty easily, but uh, I've never damaged one of these. So we'll see how easy it is to cut open. We'll see what color he is inside. We'll see if he's hard inside or maybe gooey or something. I don't, know. I don't really know. We'll find out. I went into my Robin voice then. <laughs> we'll find out uh, once I cut him open and uh, we'll discover it together. So we'll do that at the end. We'll do that at the end. We should be able to do it here. I was thinking of uh, setting it on fire but I'd have to do that outside and it's kind of dark so in this video we'll just cut it open. But uh, first thing we're going to do is get these guys out of the box so it's not all blurry anymore. And uh, we'll get them all into like their own individual my mystery crates and then we'll be able to open them up one at a time and kind of draw out the fun. So let's do that. So first up, let's get these out of their box. Ta-da! Okay, now using my uh, Ushis magic, <laughs> I have uh, put all the Ushis into a bo little boxes here. Um, as you can see, those are all the uh, DreamWorks Ushis and that's obviously the uh, mystery box from this pack. And then over here we got the four uh, DC Comics Ushis. And one of them, I don't know which one, is uh, the mystery pack. So we'll kind of find that out. That, that's one extra surprise we've managed to squeeze into this. So um, no more ramble, let's just start opening them up. So we'll, we'll get to the first one up the top. And we have someone who's like pink holographic. I think that is, it's like that DJ. Uh, here we go, hologram or holographic DJ Suki. There you go, so you can see she's got a cool like her hair looks like a bit of a flower at the top. It's hard to see with the holographic ones, but she's wearing like ear earphones or headphones. Is that what you call them for DJs? And she's holding them over her ears just to kind of block out the outside sound so she can hear the music clearly. So there you go. So I'll put her... Oh, where should we put them? Right in the middle. There'll be room. Is she going to stand? There we are. Okay. Now we'll take one from the DC Comics side. And now this one is... Oh, who's this guy? He's holographic. I think holographic Deadshot. Mmm, I'm looking on the box. Where is he? Yeah, holographic Deadshot. It's uh, more white than grey like in the box, but it's definitely the guy. Now we'll spin him around. And there's another Deadshot, I think from series two. I'm just looking at the box while I spin this guy around, but um, there's another Deadshot. Oh, here he is over here. The non-holographic Deadshot. I'm pretty sure that's Deadshot. I don't know. Half his face you can see. Is that Deadshot? Maybe it's not Deadshot. He looks very similar. If you know who this handsome guy is, let me know in the comments below. He looks so much like Deadshot. I don't know, we'll find out. Or well, you'll find out for me and then I'll be surprised if I'm actually right or not. But we'll find out then. Um, so we'll put him on that side. It's pretty handy. If I don't know something, I can ask you guys. Now, who's this going to be? It doesn't feel like... A big guy feels like someone small. It is Puss in Boots. There we go. He's got a cool little. Looks like you can see the hilt of his sword there, or the handle for his sword. I don't know where the rest is gone. It kind of should be down there somewhere. His tail is wrapped around. He's got a cool cape, cool hat with the yellow, yellow flower. Now he's awesome. Okay, back over to DC Comics Ushis. Okay, it looks like a holographic. Ah, oh, these guys have like a really long name. It's like um, oh, I can see it here. Green multicolor Superman. Yeah, I see him now. So we'll spin him around. And a cool thing is, I remember mentioning this last time, is that these guys, 
that kind of dark color or the multi colorness changes. So you might get this exact same Ushi, but this side of his face might be black. It's kind of a, uh, it's cool. You might get two duplicates of the same guy, but they look almost totally different, like just different patterns on them. Okay, so that's four down. Now we'll grab another DreamWorks one. Okay, and this is, it looks like Princess Fiona, yeah. Princess Fiona in her true form as an ogre. And she's cool, it actually looks like her. Like some of these, once they kind of get ushified, like given the little beady eyes and stuff, they don't look like the characters they represent. But this one does, quite clearly. Nice. Okay, next up we are going to do another DC one. We'll have to do some DreamWorks Ushis after this. Okay, three, two, one. It is, oh, Hawkman? I think it's, no, no, it's not Hawkman. It is, I'm looking at the back of the box. Hawk Girl? No, it's not Hawk Girl. Maybe it's Hawk Girl. Let's have a look. Bring it closer. Do you think that's Hawk Girl? There was a different, uh, yeah, there was a different guy, maybe from a different series, who looks very much like this. But no, this is definitely Hawk Girl. I just thought that Hawk Girl wore yellow armor. That's why I'm confused, but it's definitely a girl. Definitely looks like a hawk. So I'm, I'm going with the gear set it's hawk girl. She's pretty awesome. I don't know if I've seen her before. Okay, put her down there. Now another DreamWorks Sushi. We'll do uh, two of these now. Okay, three, two, one. It is, this looks like King Poppy. Nice. I love his hair, holy moly. These Trolls characters were kind of like perfect to be made into Ushis. They just kind of look like Ushis to begin with. I love how uh, his hair feels from behind, it's all a little bit spiky. Okay, we'll put him there. And now, who's next? We'll do this one. Okay, it is. Uh, who's this guy? I think it's uh, Master or Sensei. Uh, from uh, Kung Fu Panda, I'm sure of it. I'm looking at the box now while I'm spinning him around. Yeah, Master Shifu. I saw off because Master Shifu's kind of got like a dark brown robe. Does this kind of look skin colored? So it kind of confused me a little bit, but it's definitely the guy, but for some reason his robe is skin colored. I remember uh, Master Shifu having like, like creepy eyes. Like where you could see a lot of the white of the eyes, but of course, in Ushi mode, he looks more like a friendly Ewok. <laughs> okay, now chuck him down here. Now we'll do... Oh, I want to do the mystery box. Hey, we haven't got the mystery box for the DC Comics Ushis yet, so this must be the mystery box for the, that one, and there's the mystery box for the DreamWorks, so we'll do those two last. That kind of worked out well. Now, three, two, one, this is a DreamWorks Ushi. Maybe someone rare, it is, well, someone holographic. Who's that? That could be Branch, I think. Is that his name, Branch? Or Creek. Yeah, it's Creek, it's holographic Creek, or hologram Creek. Let's, let's take a closer look. Okay, no, it's not Creek. Oh, it is Creek. There's two hologram Creeks. One which is just here, and one which is uh, not just here. That's confusing, I'll put that there. Okay, now there's all of the uh, normal Ushis we've found. Now I've got two mystery pack ones. So we'll start with DC Comics Ushi. Who's it gonna be? I think this series, let's see who we could find, if we're lucky. So Glitter Spark, Wonder Woman, who I've never found. The Joker Imposter Batman, which, no, I haven't found either. I found the Joker's Wild Batman from a particular series, but it's like a white um, version of the Batman suit with Joker graffiti on it. So I don't have that one. And then, Golden Superman, I think I found once before. Anyway, let's, whoa, whoa. You can't see that, we're having a Ushi avalanche. Okay, now, three, two, ooh, oh, <laughs> three, two, one. There we go, oh, it's a, uh, no, it's Golden, Golden Superman, yes! So he is one of the limited edition Ushis for uh, DC Comics Ushi Series 3, which is awesome, okay, nice. That's really cool. I love how shiny they look too. I think there's a uh, large vinyl version of these guys now, of the Golden Superman. I could be wrong, maybe it's Golden Batman I'm thinking about. 
Okay, and now for the uh, DreamWorks Ushi stand up King Poppy. Ah, he wants to roll. His head's too big and heavy. Okay, three, two, one. Hey, wow! He, uh, for some reason, is in a little bag. Now it's a gingerbread, gingerbread man. But why is he in a little bag? He's not a rare guy. Because uh, the rare guys, I don't know if you can see, uh, is Sparkle Poppy and Crystal Shrek. So he's not rare, but for some crazy reason, he's in a little bag. Let's pull him out. Ugh. Now there he is. Very cool, and he's still got, still got a big pencil hole down the bottom. Yeah, I don't understand why he had his own special bag. Maybe all the uh, limited edition guys come in a little bag with the DreamWorks sushis, or maybe just this guy. Who knows? I'm just guessing. I'll put him there. Okay, looking good. Now, next thing we're gonna do is, uh, I think that's everyone, yeah, that's everyone. So now, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, but we're gonna cut open an Ushi, and I've got my big announcement for you. I'm totally Batman. Now, sadly, the time has come that we're gonna chop open this guy. So, I've got him on a nice chopping board, I don't know if you can tell, it kind of blends in with the background, so you can't tell. We've got a chopping board here, I have uh, sharpened up this knife so it's nice and sharp. Um, and we're ready to go so let's not waste any time let's get straight into it so <laughs> first up we'll try cutting him down this way okay we might be able to just push down let's see oh okay no he's too tough to just kind of push down but we've made a line by kind of running the blade along him so let's do that again so it's slowly biting into him I don't know if you can see that Okay, now let's do it one more time and we should be through. Let's see what we can see so far. So pull him open. Oh, he's all green inside. Okay, so we've confirmed that at least this guy is green. We may have to cut open more in future videos to see if they're all green inside. Okay, now, I'll be careful not to cut myself. When you're cutting something which you're not familiar with, you can kind of make mistakes. And there we go, we're all the way through. <laughs> so, he's seen better days, this poor green arrow. So he did come like that. Now he's been kind of very roughly cut through. And you can see here, it's just uh, kind of like a latexy rubber. It's kind of, feels just the same on the inside, oh, it's kind of got a bit of a plastic coating on the outside, or a smooth coating on the in outside, and then the inside feels a bit more like you, like an eraser or something like that, just a bit kind of bumpier. Uh, and then there's the other side there. So there we go, we've kind of uh, solved one mystery, and we've now been able to see what it looks like inside Anushi. I'll cut them up once more. Um, we'll cut this bit. cut. <laughs> We now know what it's like, how easy it is to cut through Ushis if they're indestructible or not. We now know what's inside them. And uh, maybe next time we'll do a different invention. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you want me to do to these Ushis. Uh, if you want to see me, I don't know, mount one, boil one in water, drive over one in the car, anything like that. And uh, every so often I'll, I'll throw in a video of me like doing these experiments on the Ushis, or maybe other toys as well, who knows, but uh, Ushis to me hold quite a few mysteries, so we gotta, we gotta get to the bottom of this together. Um, so there we have that, and now we got our other big news! So I received a letter from uh, Head Start Toys, one of the dis uh, Australian distributors of Ushis, um, and here's a bit of the letter there, and uh, they wrote to me just kind of about uh, the toys and what's happening with the brand and things like that. And they, one thing they mentioned, which I thought would be interesting for you guys, is that uh, Series 4 of both DC and Marvel are about to come out. Um, so it doesn't say when, but they do say we are about to release Series 4 of both DC and Marvel. So hopefully that's very soon. Obviously it's going to be in time for Christmas, so keep your eyes on the shops for those ones. Um, and we can, uh, I'll, I'll read it out to you. So it says, we're about to release Series 4 of both DC and Marvel, and we currently have Series 2 of Disney, WWE, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Series 1 of Pixar, DreamWorks, which we just opened up today, uh, Cars, and Care Bears in store, and we are so excited to be releasing a Barbie, Transformers, Star Wars, and Ushi's Junior range in the coming months. 
So there you go. So uh, the new ones, which you haven't probably haven't heard of before, hopefully haven't heard of before. I haven't. Is uh, Barbie, Transformers, Star Wars, and an Ushi Junior range, which I don't know what that will be, but we'll find out in the next in the coming months. It says. So, so there you have it. Brand new news: Barbie, Transformers, Star Wars, and Junior Ushis. Now let's quickly uh, go through who we found. So Holographic Creek, uh, King Thistle, Puss in Boots, Master Shifu, I think his name was. Oh, I've forgotten this guy. Uh, DJ Suki or Holographic DJ Suki. Uh, oh, Fiona, uh, Gingerbread Man. Now this was Hawk Girl, Holographic uh, Deadshot, I think. Not Deadpool, Deadshot. Um, green multicolored Superman. And then uh, Golden Superman. Yeah, just Golden Superman. No, no, nothing fancier than that. So there we go. There we have it. Now I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. We've got a ton more of Ushi's videos. I think something like over six, no, 50 Ushi's videos at the moment. So feel free to check them out. I'll put a link to the playlist at the end of the video. Uh, I'll put the Ushi's one up there somewhere. But until next time, guys, I hope you have a great week. Take care of yourself, and I will catch you next time.